Making clothing is one of the most fundamental human inventions. Materials have evolved with culture and society and a barometer of the technology we have at the time. In the fashion industry, we currently have a system where fast fashion produces large amounts of very cheap clothing at a very inexpensive price. Literally so many things. I love clothing, but I hate spending my money on clothing. The difficulty is that they're producing so much clothing that we just don't know what to do with it. And a lot of it's just going straight to landfill. I'm a traditionally trained fashion designer. I saw the fashion industry and I realized that there were so many things that needed to be done, but there was a lack of scientific rigor in the way we dealt with sustainability. I was so moved by this, I was inspired to come back to academia and actually do a PhD. And we're working on a project to make fashion fabrics from microalgae. We could, if we do it just right, trap our current carbon in our materials. And this isn't science fiction. This is a raincoat I made from a plastic I developed that's made from marine algae. It's carbon negative. I developed a plastic that's made from marine macroalgae. So it's made of naturally sequestered carbon. And I make raincoats out of it as sort of art objects in order to have a tool to start conversations about how much of our material culture is complicit in climate change because it is fossil material in the same way that fossil fuels are fossils. From a fashion perspective, the biggest input into the textile industry for fashion, I believe, is polyester. The latest thing, woven, texturized polyester. And they really give. I love them. And they're washable for trail polyester. Beautiful. From an emissions perspective, polyester is made from petroleum. It is made from big old carbon chains that have been underground for hundreds of millions of years, and we're releasing them into our atmosphere. Microalgae has all these benefits because it doubles in biomass every 24 hours. So if you compare that to something like cotton, which takes 100 days to grow, is incredibly water and energy intensive, requires a lot of labor, and requires um, the use of one quarter of the world's pesticides, something that creates oxygen and algae every 24 hours is a much better alternative. There are only 31 types of fiber in the world, and the last new one really came around at the end of World War II. But since that period of time, almost nothing has happened. And so the market is always hungry for innovation, and here we are. We're working on a project to make fashion fabrics from microalgae. Companies such as Bolt Fabrics have been able to create spider silk within yeast. They've also been able to create mushroom leather, mycelium. And these are very exciting sustainable fabrics that work in completely different ways to conventional fabrics such as cotton and opens up vast new possibilities for sustainable research.